video in which I publicly announce a help request for a problem that I had with the JSB Sim aircraft simulation uh, library. Okay, let's get started. So, hi everybody, and welcome to Bugzilla, where I'd like to illustrate you a rather innovative game. Okay, apart from jokes, uh, clearly uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk about a um, question with the uh, Flightcraft 3D uh, Flight Simulator Flightcraft 3D The Return uh, Flight Simulator that uh, I've I've uh, devised, but uh, which I'd like to bring to uh, bring to become a better product, more interesting product by um, supporting the realism, uh, higher degree of realism of the uh, airplane as it flies in a throw a professional industrial standard aircraft simulation library which in our case is the JSB SM uh, because I chose that uh, was, uh, so, some of the ideas which it's uh, it proposes uh, were it impressed me positively now uh, now Clearly, <laughs> um, I just accompany. And I decided to accompany this. What I have to say with with a little gameplay of uh, this is a Doom Three uh, classic, uh, and. Um, well, I d decided to accompany what I have to say with, with a gameplay so that uh, firstly it makes a little bit easier for me to, to be spontaneous and um, at the same time it uh, offers some interesting parallelism uh, <laughs> uh, with the present situation and uh, mm, and uh, okay the yeah, analogies will be clear and uh, it's it's also thirdly uh, an intent to i have the intent to make this video a little bit funnier and uh, uh, really unusual with respect to what i usually uh, propose um, because uh, the situation is pretty uh, <laughs> unexpected and because it's christmas Time some new things won't do any anything bad now uh, what are what I have done so far apart from this <laughs> clearly <laughs> apart from this okay now apart from jokes I uh, I'm I'm going to outline um, a little bit what I have done so far but basically has been the angle of attack to arrive at sufficient degree of comfort with the JSB SM uh, aircraft simulation library. now That's fine. situation is pretty foggy 
so uh, let me quietly explain uh, the situation <laughs> okay now um, the manual book of explaining the usage how, how it's used and how it works the JSP sim aircraft simulation library it's it's not really complete as, as uh, you probably know and uh, I tried to however gather as much information as I could from that my basic strategy is so to speak angle of attack of the problem was this make a sort of arrive at constructing a sort of hello world program using the uh, JSB sim aircraft simulation library and um, I arrived at, at some significant point with it a sort of hello world program which basically there is a three-dimensional reference frame and um, a point which represents the center of mass of the airplane or whatever conventional geometric center a point to which the three different axes defining the aircraft's orientation are attached to see every see at every time what orientation the airplane has and how it changes in time and fine okay and clearly and uh, clearly all, all inserted in the scenario all inserted in a three-dimensional Cartesian reference space and Cartesian three-dimensional Cartesian space where we're also a grid is drawn which should uh, reflect should represent uh, in which direction uh, is the uh, X direction of, of the current well location of the airplane and in which direction there is the epsilon direction and at what level we assume uh, there is we can say there is the at what height we can say that we have the uh, sea level so that we can we have a clear representation very essential but still acceptable of where the plane is uh, what sh should be the mm, local tangent local plane tangent to the earth surf earth's surface or sphere and so on and to do first be able to run and see graphically some scripts scripted flights flights with scripted control uh, and provided with JSB sim and and that's that, that's it all I wanted to do is this and I did it sort of hello world program to get a bit started with JS Basin library. Well, um, that's the so to say homework that uh, I've done so far and I think I've uh, I've managed to um, understand the basic architecture of JS Basin uh, and to familiarize with uh, the familiarize with the different functions which allow to gather uh, the various informations about the position uh, orientation currently and uh, 
how it changes in time of the air pump. Now, so far so good. Uh, it, it, it works, but two problems are left, which I did manage to, to solve. And um, now, thank you for your attention. If you have come so far, it's uh, so you can take a break before part two. The air plan doesn't seem to me to go in the right direction. So I don't think that I am getting correctly the uh, its orientation. Um, well, that's problem one. And uh, I I even don't think that the plane tangent locally to the uh, sphere, which is assumed to be the Earth, uh, the, the plane tangent there, I don't think has the right uh, uh, orientation. I don't think I am getting it right. Uh, uh, and uh, well, it's 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 this is problem one. These are two completely foggy parts. I I think I, I made some effort to understand the the different reference frames that are used in in. And J is base sim, but uh, I'm still getting something wrong. If someone is familiar with it, can solve my problem in like five minutes. The other thing is interactivity. I I ran in in the my little hello world program, so to say. I run a script of the script which does the autopilot cruising of a Cessna. 172 and uh, well seems okay so far but running scripts and just steering at mm, mm, so to say flights controlled by a pre-written script yeah that that's pretty not enough I like an interactive fly so these are the two things which make uh two, three things which now make my situation a little bit like this okay <laughs> but uh whatever uh, so, so what's it's 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 flight is awkward really it, and the other problem is interactivity i i i didn't manage to do anything i i i think I understood which functions are responsible for the the different uh, control things of the airplane, the rudder, elevator, the ailerons, right, left, the engine control, and so on. But when I call the functions, I set the value, I set the value of the trimmers and so on. Uh, nothing seems to happen. What am I doing wrong? Please tell me this. I will not. I will soon upload to SourceForge what I have done so far. That uh, main.cpp sort of hello world program. And if someone uh, is able to uh, tell me and uh, send me a corrected version where the airplane gets steered and control, controlled interactively as uh, it. it as I'd like it to to be, and that uh, the uh, airplanes, the reference frames are, are fine. If someone can do this for me, uh, uh, it's it's really uh, a great thing. Now let's come to part three of the part three of the what I wanted to say because uh, it's really time. Now, uh, what happens if all this is, is done? First of all, I can ultimate, I can make the simulator Flightcraft 3D the return as I wanted, a full better product than it is now, thanks to a realistic a flight model. Um, 
step two that is going to happen if the problem my problems are solved because someone helps me with with this little problem is that I I will make a tutorial on how to make a basic hello world program with the JS base sim library whose manual is not complete uh, so that people who are trying to do uh, who need such the usage of such a aircraft simulation library uh, don't end up so okay okay clear did I explain it don't end up by doing this instead of doing what I wanted to okay I may be joking also clearly now but the thing has been a bit annoying so 